Raw as the athlete, ultra marathon runner, health pioneer, fruit lover, lifestyle consultant, motivational speaker, running on fruit to save the world one banana at a time. All right, everybody, coming at you from Canterbury, Thailand. We're out here for Grant Campbell's awesome Raw Aussie Athlete Retreat. It's been an amazing time so far. Plenty of adventures, waterfalls, hikes, outings to buffets and different tours. And just exploring the, the local city of Chandler and eating the amazing abundant fruit that is available here. Today we wanted to show you guys a fairly simple recipe. Since we're in Thailand, we thought it would be nice to enjoy a very popular dish that they make here, which is Pad Thai. So I'd like to walk you guys through a simple recipe of how to create your own Pad Thai. First off, we have the noodles. For ours, we are using cucumber, radish, carrot, bok choy, and a local green called pak dung, also known as water spinach. Usually, back home when I make pad thai, I would use zucchini and not cucumber but both of them work perfectly, so which one you prefer and that you have an abundance of, feel free to use that. So that is the noodle slash vegetable base. Now let's move on to the sauce. For the sauce, we will have mint, Thai basil, green onion, cilantro, those are our herbs. We'll be using tamarind for the sweet and sour, component. We will also be using ginger, cumin, and coriander seeds uh, ground. Ginger and the coriander and the cumin are all optional ingredients. Feel free to mix and match whatever you see here. We also will have side options. We have your baby corn. It's very, very tender, sweet, crunchy uh, vegetable they have out here. It's really, really nice. Nice and fresh. We also have cherry tomatoes that will be on the side. And we also have mushrooms. You can use fresh mushrooms. Today I had some dried mushrooms that I brought from America. So I'm rehydrating some of those in water and we'll put those on the side for people to add for a different texture. It's gonna be a little, little meatier, a little tougher. Give it a nice flavor. For the base of the sauce, along with all the herbs, the tamarind, the ginger, we will be using Nam Doc Mai mangoes. Beautiful, sweet, sweet creamy mangoes. And if you don't have mangoes, you could use things that are more in season. I assume they'll be peaches, nectarines. Um, those would be great to use as well. We also have coconut milk. Now this coconut milk I bought fresh from the market, fresh pressed. If you do not have access to someone who can make fresh pressed coconut milk, you can buy the mature coconut. You take, scoop out the meat and blend that with the coconut water. And that would create your own coconut milk. It's probably smart to strain it after you blend it to get out the fibers, the fibers are not, not easily digestible. So you guys keep in mind, we're making food for 15 people here. The amount that you just saw is not what you would make for yourself or for a couple people. For that, we can give you a little description below of like what one serving would look like. You got the seeds from the tamarind oh. coconut water. Chicking the mangoes and then scooping them into yeah. the bowl. from the pits. So now I'm using my little candy noodle maker to make these cucumber noodles. If you have one of the big spiralizers that you can stick the cucumbers and zucchini in sideways, it makes 
a bit too thick of a noodle that I prefer for Pad Thai. So I prefer one of these handheld noodle makers. Makes the perfect kind of texture and size that you can find. Careful not to cut yourself. Keep your fingers tucked back. Save the core of the cucumbers. Never to waste ingredients. I was using zucchini instead of cucumber. I put the middle pieces in the sauce. Mm -hmm. It'll be a nice thickener. So here we have the uh, shredded pak boon, the shredded bok choy, the radish made into noodles, the carrot made into noodles, and the cucumber made into noodles. Sauce, you guys. It's so hard to use tools to scoop. I just use my, my bare hands. So in here we have the mango, a bit of the extra cucumber to add volume, and the radish and carrot. Now we're gonna add some green onion. If you have a decent blender, you don't have to chop up the Get some fresh mint. And then we have some Thai basil. Again, I would normally put cilantro in here as well, but um, some people aren't intolerant to cilantro, so they have it on the side. I like my pad thai is heavy on the basil. A little slice of ginger. Coriander. It's a similar cilantro, but it doesn't have that cilantro -y taste that people don't like. And a little bit of ground cream. And there will be tamarind, which we were soaking in coconut water as well. But I'll add that in at the end. This is just a sample of the sauce we're making. We have coconut milk. And we made this recipe a few nights ago and we did the same thing. But I used tahini instead of coconut milk. And I find it pretty much works the same. Sun dried tomatoes. Got these local in California. They're salt free, oil free. Many of the dried tomatoes out there in the market, they're oily and salty and preservative rich. I recommend uh, trying to find organic, non salted, clean dried tomatoes. All right. Sauce evenly distributed to the veggies. It's my 
friend Edwin's birthday. I wanted to make something special for him. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. Exciting adventure with Raw Aussie Athlete. Here, Raw Aussie Athlete reveals secrets from the depths of the galaxy. Watch Raw Aussie Athlete on his valiant and chivalrous pursuits, surrendering to the noble values of honesty, openness, and integrity, and to the timeless traits of truth, justice, and the 801010 way. How will his life unfold? Which mountain will he next conquer? Where will his heart lead him? Will he find true love? Join Raw Aussie Athlete on his bold, fortuitous journey to unleash passion and purpose upon the universe and beyond. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.